Hello, in this video, I'm going to talk about the optic chiasm. Um, so when we talk about the optic chiasm, we're referring to the pathway of the optic nerve. Um, so beginning with where the axons of the nerve cells leave the eyeball. Um, so I'm not talking in this video about the, the pathways that are occurring inside of the eyeball and with the retina and everything itself. But once the axons are leaving the eyeball, uh, they project posteriorly until they get to the optic chiasm, which is this part in the center here where we see some crossing of the axons. So that's, I'll talk about that on the next slide. That is the optic chiasm. And then after we get to the optic chiasm, then the axons continue. They travel to the thalamus. So we have a left and right thalamus that are that we're processing those axons through. And there uh, we have um, those first axon synapse with the next set of neurons. Um, and so those neurons project then to the visual areas, the visual cortex in the occipital lobes. Okay, so here's the optic chiasm. Here's what's actually happening. Um, so it's where the axons in the optic nerves cross to the opposite side before it goes back to the occipital lobe as we just saw. Um, now, what's interesting is the not all of the axons cross over. So it's not like everything from the right eye goes to the left occipital and vice versa. That is not the case. Um, what happens is our, the information from the right visual field. So like if we're looking out the eyeballs at the right side, that information is reflecting into the eyeball to the left portion of the retina. If you think about the direction the light is shining. So the light is coming from the right visual field to the left portion of the retina and vice versa. It'll come from the left visual field to the right portion of the eyeball. And that's true in both eyes. So essentially what happens is the axons that are carrying that information from the right and left visual fields or coming from the left and right portions of the retina, that information gets separated at the optic chiasm. Okay, so the information that's coming from the right visual field and being collected by the left portion of the retina travels to the left occipital lobe from both eyeballs. So I like this picture a lot because it's color coded. It helps us really clearly see what's happening. So the left portion of each retina, that information goes to the left occipital lobe and that's showing what is happening in the right visual field because that's where that information is reflected on the left retina or the left portion of the retina and then vice versa we have the left visual field reflects onto the right portion of each retina and the right portion of each retina that information is being sent to the right occipital lobe so at the optic chiasm we just have a switching of half of the axons so that we are organizing all of the left to one side and all of the right to the other side. So not all crosses, we're just getting some cross so that we're separating left and right visual fields so that the brain can process that more effectively. All right, that's all I have for you in this video. Thanks so much for watching.